you doing, people? Today is this, the 12th of February 2020. We're outside the shithole known as Glasgow Sheriff Court. We've just came to challenge an unlawful warrant, and we've learned quite a lot today, this morning, people, and I can verify this in private capacity under full liability. It is not a court these warrants are applied for. It's in a, a chambers with a JP. And the best thing is, we've just been told with a legal advisor that a JP has no jurisdiction if you write back, they'll have to refuse a warrant. Now these people, it must be, I've actually been done some thinking this morning people, and I'm thinking this is how the council tax fraud works. They're going into a chambers because this JP came out and took this man for SSE, the corporation, it's alleged to uh, supply power, right in without any questions. So this is done behind closed doors. Every clerk in this building here, every sheriff, JP, are paid liars. And this has just been verified here today. This is what's going on, they're defrauding the people. And as you're aware, people, I've done a video last Friday and I put up a no notice warrant video. It's important that you people look at this because if they don't get you with the, the way that they did, if you, you don't contest the warrant to get it, he automatically signs it. If you don't know about it, they'll sign that. You'll know have time to come and dispute this, right? We've got a result here this morning for the woman Claire. Claire contacted me and asked me to assist her because she was watching the video. She's, watching, she's a follower of my videos and I've supported Claire in other matters in the past. So I'll stand by her because she, when she goes in, she thinks she's a woman. Uh, but today, people, I can verify here in private capacity under full liability. These are corporate places of business. These are not courts of law. And everybody, everybody in there is a paid fucking liar. And that's verified by myself. We've seen it today because we rattled the... The, the, the clerks in that office, they were all panicking because somebody was there to challenge a warrant. And it's not just one warrant, people. They're going in the same way as the council tax. They're going in with a block, maybe 20, 30, maybe an example. And they're getting one decree against these warrants for one thing, right? But it's, it's the same as the council tax. I've just worked out how this works. And now I've found out how it works. And I'm happy I came here today because I've had a school day. I've learned something I didn't know. The council tax and the warrants for utility bills are done in the same process. Now, Claire's also done some research and she's found out this company has already went bust in the past and it's now trading under a different name. Now people, this is what I'm going to verify in private capacity under full liability. A soulless legal fiction cannot make a claim, right? It has no right of mind to contract and no man or woman represent a fiction can make a claim on its behalf because it does not exist and this is how you people have been, de been deceived and defrauded that your rights, your equity and your properties are getting broken into with these criminals. Every one of them in that building, including the police and the security are corporate criminals, they're all policy enforcers working under statutes and acts. What would you like to say Claire? I would just like to thank everybody that came here, Robert's dad and his sister and Robert himself and to just say when we got up there, um, we Anne Marie's here as well. Aye, she can't she's, come in. She doesn't want to come in the camera, but she's here as well, so there's actually five of us here. Yep. We had another two, we'd be called the Magnificent Seven. <laughs> anyway, people, <laughs> there's a result here. Yeah. And I want to thank my dad, my sister, on short notice, and the, yeah. the woman over there, yeah. Anne Marie and Claire. We all stand by each other. Yeah. We, this, is a, this is a question I want to verify here just now as well. Claire, have you ever met your person? No. No. When you walked into that corporate place of business, what did you go in there as? I went in as the woman. Do you feel pain? No, I don't feel. I feel pain. I tell the women of somebody else. Right. Have you ever? Well, this is going to be funny. No, it's have you ever? <laughs> have you ever took your person out for a meal, a drink, or a coffee? Oh no. no. So you've never met your person. It's a fiction in my mind. The reason I'm saying this, people, you people need to waken up to the fraud that's been perpetrated against the people, men and women. That's what you are. You're a man or woman. If you can cook, eat, talk, write feel pain, you have life, fictions don't have life, but this is a good day for myself, um, I'm happy I came here today, because now I've learned how this process really works, so you people need to start waking up, pay attention to my videos, because what I'm telling you, I can document and verify 100%, um, I've also now got a Facebook page group, people. it's called People for the People Anti-Corruption Scotland, we are changed, please join that group, I want to get the numbers up. It's not just about a group, it's about moving this forward to next year's 2021 elections because we can get the people to stand against these corrupt politicians and remove them lawfully without any hassle. 
All you have to do is do not vote for these parasites, especially the SNP, Labour, Tories, Lib Dems and Green Party because they're all fraud against the people. They're all private corporations registered and done in Bradstreet. Right? Anyway, people, if you like this information, please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, Rob S. I'm also on Facebook and I've just told you the group that I've, I've organised now. Uh, the numbers are going up, but I want them to go up faster. Pay attention. Waking up, smell the coffee and learn, people. Have a good day. Take care and be safe.